Today I'll be making guacamole. So everyone knows what guacamole is made out of. It's uh, avocados. Uh, so it's a creamy dip that originated in Mexico and it's really popular here. And because Super Bowl is coming up, I thought I'd show everyone how to make the guacamole in case you wanted to bring it to a friend's house or you're having company and you'd like to make it for your house. Uh, so. Guacamole is really cool essentially because it's made of mostly vegetables, actually all vegetables um, except for the guac, uh, except for the avocados, I'm sorry because that's a fruit. Um, avocados are very, very high in fat, but a good time, good kind of fat because it's monounsaturated fat which is really good for your heart. Uh, there's no saturated fat, there's no cholesterol in these, so it's actually a really good uh, food to eat when you're trying to increase your healthy fats in your diet. There's plenty of fiber. Uh, plenty of uh, antioxidants, so it's um, very beneficial for your dietary needs. Um, so for the guacamole, you need, what I'm going to be doing is making a small portion today. I'm using two avocados. Uh, you want to make sure that they're ripe. So I bought these a couple of days ago, so um, just to make sure that, you know, I have them ripened up. They, when you purchase, a, purchase them at the store, they're usually a little bit firm. Um, and when your finger goes slightly into the avocado, it means that they're just ready. But if it's going too in, if it's sinking in too much, that means they're way too ripe. So the best way to do this is just slice the avocado in half. Just like that. Oh, this one's a little brown on this side, so I'm going to cut it off. it right out just like that it's really nice and easy when they're ripe and take the pit out scoop some of this brown off and scoop the rest of this in here as well so like I said it's really easy and it comes out very clean just like that sometimes I save these I make them like little um, avocado guacamole boats so um, these are really cool serving dishes if you wanted to save them for a unique twist on serving um, and cut the second one up here. And cut all the way around. Just cut off the tops. It's a little brown. And again, just scoop it right out. It comes out really easy when they're ripe. And um, I'm actually going to save these pits, and I'll tell you in a few minutes why. So this is our main ingredient. I have two avocados in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mash them up just like that. It's really easy when they're nice and ripe. Just kind of just mush, 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 mush. I'm going to make sure this is nice and mashed before we add our other ingredients. And um, it depends on the consistency that you like. If you like it to be a little bit chunkier, you can leave little pieces. If you want a smoother consistency, you can keep going. That should be about good. Got all the pieces in there. Okay. So to this, I will be adding garlic. So garlic is usually not added to the traditional um, guacamole recipe, but I love the flavor of garlic. I love the taste of garlic, and it's really good for you. So just a little bit. This is just one clove that's been minced fine. Um, you don't want any big, big chunks of garlic in there. Or you can use garlic powder as well for a substitute. Jalapeno. You definitely need chili um, in the guacamole. That's one of the main ingredients. Uh, you can use any kind of chili that you prefer. I used jalapeno and I seeded half of it. So I took half the seeds out. And the seeds are where most of the spice is. So you want to be careful. You know, it depends on how spicy you like your food. I love spicy food. So I only took half of the seeds out. I left half of them in here. You can use habaneros, uh, you know, whatever kind of pepper you, you prefer. And if you really don't like spicy food, you don't have to add it. The other um, main ingredient of guacamole is onions. You can use any kind of onion you like. You can even use scallions or white onions. I chose red onion. It's a little bit sweeter. I love the flavor. So I um, used one medium-sized red onion. I cut it up really, really fine. Add that in there. Tomatoes. So I um, cut up about half of a large tomato. 
take a look at this. It's already it's so colorful and it's so pretty. Um, this is a twist that I like to add to my guacamole. Um, it sounds a little strange, but it's about a tablespoon of Parmesan cheese, and um, I think it just gives it a really good flavor. You don't have to add it if you don't like to. Um, this is really important for the tang to help keep the color um, green, help it to prevent from uh, oxidation. It's the lime of one lime, the juice of one lime, I don't know what I'm saying. So the juice of about one lime, you can use the juice that's already pre-made in a bottle or you can fresh squeeze it. Um, this I used from a bottle, I didn't have any limes at home. So I did have this on hand in my refrigerator, so just add that in there. So if you use it from a bottle, it's, it's already pre-made, you want to do about uh, two, two full tablespoons of that juice. Um, this is the key ingredient in guacamole. It, without this, I don't think guacamole tastes the same. It's cilantro. So what I did was I just took a nice big chunk of cilantro, fresh cilantro, I washed it up, and I cut the stems off, and then I chopped it fine. Add that in there. And last but not least, a little bit of pepper, black pepper and some salt. Just put that in there. I'm going to mix this all up. It smells so amazing. And it's so healthy. It's all natural ingredients. Um, you know everything that's going in here and it really only takes a few minutes after you're done cutting up your vegetables. I like the ratio of um, everything to be kind of proportioned, but um, to kind of make it chunky with all the vegetables in there. You can add more avocados if, you, um, if you'd like or you like it a little bit creamier. It's up to you. So this is nice and done. I gave it, I mixed it all up nicely. Um, all the vegetables are coated. And if you want to serve this fresh, you actually want to take the pit and you want to put it in the middle. And it helps uh, prevent watering. Um, I also learned from someone that if you leave the pit in there, it helps from the oxid oxidizing process. Uh, it keeps it from happening and the avocado doesn't turn brown. And I'm not really sure why that happens from the pit, but it works. I've tried it and it really works. But um, another method that you can use is actually, um, if you're not going to be eating it till later, to prevent it from browning, you want to take a little bit of plastic wrap and you want to press it in to the guacamole, just like that. Make sure it's nice and sealed. And then seal your container with the top. So it has to be an airtight um, airtight container, um, put the lid on, but make sure that it's nice and sealed with plastic on top to prevent it from browning if you're gonna be eating it with liquid later. And I'm just gonna enjoy this with a nice big multi-grain tortilla chip. And it's amazing. Good luck, guys.